Happy New Year! And welcome to my reality Jeep life, hosted by me, the Vermont Jeep Girl. If you don't already know, every single day this year, 2013, I'm going to be vlogging. About what? <laughs> my Jeep? Of course! What else would it be? Come on with me, we're going to go take a short ride, and we'll call it the first trip of the season. The first Jeep run of 2013. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah. It's sunny out here. Hi, welcome to My Reality Jeep Life with me, the Vermont Jeep Girl. Happy New Year. Hope you all had a good time yesterday and rang out 2012. And I hope you don't all have hangovers this morning. I know I don't. I was sitting out here last night in the garage working in the cold, working on an axle, realizing that I left my spindle socket at home. Yeah, welcome to my reality Jeep life. I'd like to give you an overview of the new YJ that I am building. I am using spare parts, a lot of spare parts, from different Jeeps that I've had around the yard. I will be using quite a few recycled parts from a 95 rolled YJ that I have back in Vermont. Uh, let me introduce you to my frame. The frame, we're not really sure what year it is. It is a YJ frame. Somebody has gone through the trouble of cleaning it up in the past. It's been sitting out in the yard. It still needs a lot of work. We've already mocked up the axles. I have a Scout 2 Dana 44 in the rear. Right now mocked up, I have a I have a Dodge W150 Dana 44 in the front, which I originally was going to use. I am not going to be using that. If we would have used this, I would have had to cut the tubes, narrowed it, and done a lot of work. But because of time restraint, and now that we're into snow season here, uh, <laughs> for Christmas, K-Man surprised me with a new axle. It's a waggy, narrow, narrow passenger drop Dana 44. That will eliminate me having to narrow this front axle, therefore saving time. One thing that we will be using off this Dodge W150 Dana 44, the flat top knuckles and the outers on the old Dana 44. We will be using them on the new axle that I have. I'd like to go, I'd like to take this time now to go over the drivetrain specs. I will be using a 4.0. We will be refreshing it with some ring and bearings. We'll be using a T18, greeny geared with 632 first gear. We'll be using a Dana 20 transfer case. And a lot of these things I will be going into more detail as the weeks progress and as I actually get these things in and out and taken apart and probably lots of cursing too. Okay, now that we've discussed the frame, the axles, and the drivetrain of this build, let's talk about the body. The body is sitting right out here on the trailer in the snow. <laughs> it's off of my 89 Islander, which just happens to be the first Jeep that I've ever purchased. Never really used her very much. She kind of drove in the yard and never went any further. That's a long story for another time. Right after that, six months later, I bought all blue, my 93 YJ. From that, I drove her stock for about three years, and I started building her up. And from there, you've seen in pictures, actually here she is right here. So with this body from the 89 Islander, it was in really good shape, not too much work. We have some rust in the floor pan and down behind the passenger side, which we've ordered floor pans from Classic Enterprises and should be here at any point. It's also American made in Wisconsin. Thank you everyone who has subscribed recently to my YouTube page and my followers on Facebook. I love you all. Thank you very much. During this upcoming year, yes, I'm building a Jeep. I'm building another YJ. I'm also going out, I'm going to be doing events. I'm also gonna be traveling and going to different off-road parks. I'm also coming out to meet you, my friends, my Jeepers, my off-roaders. This upcoming year, who knows what's in store? Cause when it comes to me, Anything's possible. <laughs> so if you would like to be featured on my vlog of my reality Jeep life with me, the Vermont Jeep Girl, send me an email right here. 
Vermont Jeep Girl at Hotmail.com and I will return your email. Tell me a little bit about you. Do you belong to an off-road club and you would like to be featured on one of my vlogs? Please send me an email. Again, Vermont Jeep Girl at Hotmail.com. Are you a business in the industry? Do you have a product that you'd like me to test? Do you have a product that you'd like me to use or even speak about? Again, email me at vermontjeepgirl at hotmail.com. I would love to hear from you. I'm looking forward to this upcoming year and I don't know what's in store. Now the dog stops barking. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe to me. I think the button's up here somewhere. Subscribe and you will get my daily vlog throughout 2013. And follow me in my adventures where the trail never ends. Okay. Cut, that's a wrap. Ow. Ow. I hope this was recording. Welcome to January 1st, 2013, with me, the Vermont Jeep Girl. This is the first edition of My Reality Jeep Life, and I'd like to say thank you for coming over here and watching. If you're an off-roading club or organization who would like to be featured on My Reality Jeep Life, please email me at vermontjeepgirl at hotmail.com, vermontjeepgirl at hotmail.com. I will get back to you. Give me some details of, of what your club is about, where you're located, how many members. Um, if you have any events coming up, send them in. I'll give you a shout out. If you're a business or an organization that would like to have your product featured here on my show, My Reality Jeep Life, please email me at vermontjeepgirl at hotmail.com. Email me at vermontcheapgirl at hotmail.com. And I will get back to you. This is going to be an exciting year. There is so much going on. Um, I don't even know where to begin. I have a new Jeep I'm building. I have events I'm going to be attending. Um, I'm Why are you fading out? Did the sun just go away? Does your club or organization have a decal? Why don't you send it to me and I will stick it on my wall for when I'm building my axles in my living room. I would love to have you hanging up behind me supporting me. That sounds stupid. <sighs> so thank you for tuning in. So thank you for tuning in and watching today's first episode. There will be so much more coming this year. I'm so excited I can shit my pants. I really gotta pee. I'm not really sure. So thank you for joining me, the Vermont Jeep Girl, on the first ever episode of My Reality Jeep Life, where the trail never ends.